Hello again! We're now at the point where we can texture our bottle. There are two parts to this, the UV map and the texture itself. They use the phrase UV mapping to describe turning the surface of your bottle into two dimensions. UV doesn't stand for ultraviolet, it's a different way to refer to the XY coordinate system, but for the topography of a 3D object. If you're interested, you can read up on it. To start, you have to create a base texture. Go to the texture tab and on the left panel, click new and then name your texture file. It will come up as a blank square initially. You can make it any size you want, but I'll start with 1024 by 1024 so we can put some decent detail in. At this point, I would like to note that hitting Control S to save in Blender will save your blend file, but it will not save this texture you're making. To save the texture, you have to go up here and click Image and Save Texture, or hit Alt S. Otherwise, when you close Blender, it will delete it and you need to start over from the beginning. Ask me how I know. Save it into the same folder as your blend file so it also gets backed up. So back to the UV maps. Each loose mesh piece will have its own UV map. Now go up into the UV editing tab. When you select points or tap A to select all, it will show the two dimension map on the left. You have to tap A again on the left one to highlight everything in there. And then you can move it around or change size or whatever. You don't have to touch these to make your own avatar, but if some of them overlap, you'll have to move them around to not conflict your textures. In my case, some of my markings are not mirrored, so I had to manually select the UV map points on the model and edit mode, and then move them somewhere else on the texture. Each piece of mesh can have its own texture, which is what I suggest you do. Cats has a compiler for them that you can use later to compress them down, but start by making each one 1024 by 1024, unless it's a solid color like some of mine, and then it doesn't matter. You can rotate and position them however you want, add textures, or whatever else. Make them invisible, I don't care. If this is confusing, think of the UV map as a coloring book. You color inside the lines and it transfers it to an identical surface section on your model, so you can change how the texture looks by moving around the UV map. You can also paint directly on the model if that's too confusing. To assign this texture to the mesh, go to the shading menu tab and click on the mesh piece you want to add a texture to. From there, you have an input box next to this slot one dropdown. If it didn't have textures already, you'll hit new and then name it to match the part of your body. So we'll start with body. Your model may have some options here already, so select which one it matches. Now in the bottom screen, go to add, texture, image texture, and select the texture you drew on previously. Then drag and drop the point from color to base color on the main dialog. You do this for every one of your meshes and eventually you'll have a full colored character. Don't forget to save the textures. Now you have a character that's modeled and colored. You can now start the rigging, so go ahead and move on to part four.